Hey guys, Roman here with Mirror Safety. Today we're here to talk about the DotPro 330. It is a brand new filter that we have launching very soon, so stick around and we'll talk about its features and benefits. Dot Pro 330 is a combined filter that combines a P3 layer, a physical barrier for biological, viral, and mold threats. P3 is essentially uh, the same as a P100 filter, which stands for particulate filtration. Typically bacteria and viruses bind themselves to particles in order to get into our system. And as long as we can prevent um, them from getting into a cut on our skin or coming into our body through the air, uh, then you're protected. It does block 99.9999% of particles, uh, and that is combined with an activated carbon layer uh, that is impregnated with metal halides to capture toxic industrial chemical threats. The filter rating for this is A2B2, E2, K2, HG, P3. Uh, now, the letter here stands for the type of contaminant that it filters. Uh, a stands for organic gases and vapors. B is inorganic gases and vapors. E is acid gases and vapors, and K is ammonia and amines. HG is mercury vapors. So this has a wide spectrum of filtration, and the number next to it stands for the filtration class. Uh, a class one filter, which would be A1, does 1,000 parts per million. Uh, a class two filter does 5,000 parts per million. So this is uh, A2, B2, E2, K2. So this is all 5,000 parts per million. As the rest of our filters, this filter is 40 millimeter NATO threaded. So it is compatible with a wide variety of respirators on the market. So it will work with all of our respirators, including the children's line. And the intended use case for this is emergency escape and evasion, along with blocking you know, particulates, or if you work in an industrial setting, uh, to block out toxic industrial chemicals. And it does have a 10-year shelf life, where our competitors have a five to seven-year shelf life. So this is the kind of product that you can pack away in a storage closet for an extended period of time, um, or if you're working for an agency, uh, you know, and you don't often come in contact with contaminants, you could stock it away. So it does give you a lot of bang for your buck. So there are some frequently asked questions, guys, and I want to address them. Uh, a lot of people are asking, does this filter work for CBRN threats? And the answer is it will work for certain CBRN threats. Uh, however, this filter is not specifically CBRN rated. So we, we cannot say that it is a CBRN filter. You just would need to research that specific threat and whether it's an organic gas, inorganic gas, et cetera. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.